Hi, my name is Evan Macknick. I'm a freelance web developer, and today I'm going to show you how I use Pickler to interface between Pivotal Tracker and Cucumber. As you can see, we are on the GitHub page for Pickler, which is created by Tim Pope. And the first thing you have to do is install it. You just do Jim install Pickler, and the source is jimcutter.org. Um, go ahead and echo the API token after everything is installed, and you can find your API token for Pivotal Tracker under your profile at the bottom. Echo your project ID, which you'll find at the top. Um, right there, it says 55334. That's the project ID I'm using. And you can either choose to use SSL or not. It's kind of personal preference right there. And then Pickler minus minus help will go ahead and uh, list all the Pickler commands and some, th and some little things about the Pickler commands. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and search for whatever stories we have. you can see I have six stories uh, the one we're going to be working with today is user creates a yard sale and the thing that we have on here we shows you uh, the green ones are ones that have um, already been finished uh, blue ones have not been started yet there's some uh, the ones that have nothing are uh, in the ice box and that's kind of sitting on the back burner we don't know if we're going to do them yet or not and also shows you the points next to each one if we go into pivotal tracker um, you can see the user creates a yard sale is the name of the story and um, also uh, the description is as a user I should be able to create a yard sale so that people can purchase items now this is an example of a well formed story that Pickler likes to work with if you don't do it like this then Pickler um, will uh, it will still work but it won't work as well so what we're going to go ahead and do is pull down that story and we're going and we'll go ahead and start it Uh, and assuming you have a well-formed story, if you go into your features directory, um, it will show, it will already uh, have pulled down that story and started it for you. You see, we have user creates a yard sale dot feature, and if we go into that sto into that feature. You can see it's already set up everything for us. And we'll go ahead and add in a small scenario to show you how that works. And then save that. And what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, finish this story because we've already tested everything with Cucumber and everything's green. and we'll push it back up to Pivotal Tracker. Now you can start a story and push it to Pivotal Tracker so you see the changes without finishing it, but since I'm the only developer on this project, I'm just going to go ahead and finish it, say it's already been done, and we'll go back into Pivotal Tracker and you'll see that uh, the story has been finished and it's ready to be delivered. So let's say we can deliver it, or we can uh, we can go ahead and change it if we want to back to uh, any anything else we want to do in Pivotal Tracker. And that's about all I have to show you. Um, if you go back to Tim Pope's Pickler page, he uh, he explains everything about it and uh, some other small things, and uh, you guys can play around with it. But it's a pretty cool piece of uh, software, and uh, I'm I've been using it a lot lately. So thank you, Tim Pope, and uh, everybody. If you need to get a hold of me. I am E Macnick, E M A C H N I C on Twitter, and also uh, my website is broadmac, B R O A D M A C dot net. Thank you very much.